Right now on 12 News at 5, an assistant basketball coach at the University of Arizona is facing charges in a national corruption scandal. It's our big story tonight. The investigation also includes coaches from three other prominent college basketball programs. They're accused of using bribes to influence star recruits and their families. Team 12's William Pitts takes a look at how all of this came to light. College basketball is one and done. You play one year, then you go to the NBA. So there's competition among the agents for the best players and then the best commissions. These guys thought they had a way to get the best players without any competition. The sting was massive. Multiple states, wiretaps, hidden cameras, surveillance. All to catch agents, coaches, even a representative of Adidas cashing in on college basketball players. All of them had the trust of the young players they coached and recruited young men who looked up to them and believed that the coaches had their best interest at heart. Here's how prosecutors said the scheme worked. The two agents, that's these two guys, would pay the coach to funnel his athletes toward them when the time came. What they didn't know, though, was the FBI was in on it the entire time and had the place wired with hidden cameras. U of A assistant coach Emmanuel Richardson allegedly got five grand at one meeting, 15 grand at another. The FBI says Richardson then used some of his cash to pay a high school athlete to come to U of A. The bribe coaches showed little regard for the players well being. They ignored red flags, seeing only the green of the cash bribes flowing their way. How does Adidas fit into this? Prosecutors say it's a separate scheme, but involved the same two agents. Court documents say the Adidas employee was paying athletes to go to Adidas-sponsored universities and sign endorsement deals with them when they went pro. Those two agents were allegedly handling the money. That scheme apparently did not involve U of A. The University of Arizona suspended Richardson and issued a statement saying, we were appalled to learn of the allegations as they do not reflect the standards we hold ourselves to and require from our colleagues. The University of Arizona has a strong culture of compliance and the expectation is we follow the rules. William Pitts, 12 News.